How's it going everyone? Zabby here and welcome back to the Complete Beginner's Guide here in Fishing Planet. Now in this episode, it's going to be a little bit different than the last one since we're not going to a brand new lake today. We got 15 days left of blue crab, so that's where we're going to be going next. But we do need to get some better gear before we can really go and maximize our time at blue crab. So we're going to go back to farming some sturgeon because that's really the quickest way to go ahead and do this. Now, this isn't a spot I found or anything. I want to get that out there right away. Most of my spots, it's not like I'm the first person to find them. I've seen them from other people using them on stream or where people tell me about them and all that so this is a sturgeon spot and this is going to be a little bit different than the other sturgeon video this is going to be a spot that's a lot closer and i'm sure you guys have seen people use this spot before but i wanted to show you guys this because i'm going to be doing it because my gear isn't that great for sturgeon so this is the way to go after some sturgeon if you don't have amazing gear so what i'm going to be rocking is of course the dlc rod this one's a given we always use this rod now and then we're still going to be using our bottom snipers here. So these are still the first bottom snipers to 300. So they are the 14 kilogram ones. So they're not amazing for sturgeon by any means. For hook sizes, I'm going to be using 4 odd. I got some X-Series hooks here that I'm going to use. I recommend using spawn sack, but if you don't have any for whatever reason, you can try out some crawfish. I'm going to try out some duck muscle meat as well. And then large cut bait will work. So these four different types of baits will work very, very well. Make sure you grab an advanced license and I'll see you guys at California. I'm at the old surgeon spot here. Now this spot still works, but it's generally better when you have some better rods because you got to reel them in from a decent length. So if you have better gear like the, the heavy chasers or whatever, or a couple DLC rods, then here is fine for sure. But we're going to go to a new spot. Now for this spot, you will need a boat. So we're going to go over to the boat spawn over here. And this is what we're going to do. Just hop in your boat. We're going to go to the left here. And this spot, I'm sure you guys have seen people fishing here before. But this is the really, really close sturgeon spot. So just go left. And it's just right here on this peak right here. This is where you're going to want to fish. We're just going to go ahead, get off our boat here. And right here is where we're going to fish. Of course, it's got to be nighttime. But I wanted to show you guys what it looked like during the day. Because it's a little bit easier to see during the day. But this is where we're going to fish. And I just have my rod stand, like, literally right there. And I cast super, super short like this. And that way, I can basically just pull them in immediately. And I can get them done. I don't have to worry about what rods I'm using. So just like all the other surgeon spots, fast forward to nighttime. I went to 2100 hours. And we are just going to cast out right here. And don't worry if it does hit that little ledge there. When you put the rod down, it, it, it is going to pull that down there. Uh, sometimes you'll even see the fish knock it down which isn't a big deal either as long as it's in the water it should be okay i can probably replace that one just because it's like barely in the water but this is all you're gonna do guys you're literally just gonna cast out right in front of you oh there we go it finally fell perfect and then you should get some fish on if you aren't getting any bites like i am you're not getting anything the best thing you can do is just skip ahead so what you're going to want to do, just like the other sturgeon spot, is skip ahead. So we're just going to hop back in our boat. That way our rods get picked up. And even though we haven't caught a single fish yet, we're just going to skip ahead. So just press T, go into the thing, click ahead one hour. There we go. Let's throw our rod stands back down. And now we're just going to cast back out. So whenever you don't get a bite for a little bit, just go ahead and do that. There's no point in waiting around because you can just skip ahead, respawn the fish. So don't ever wait around too long. And the best thing about this is you can really just do it when you're watching a movie and whatnot. There's really not much to it. It's a pretty boring way to level up if we're being honest. And I wish they would um, at least patch this and then replace it with something else. Maybe make bass a little bit better here or Alaska a little bit better. Something like that. Take this out of the game just because it's a little bit boring. Even though it is an easy way to level up. But this is what you're going to want to do guys. Is just do this over and over and over. So let's go ahead and bring this bad boy up. And all I do is just run towards the shoreline and that way I can pull them up a little bit easier. And there you go. You just go ahead and grab them nice and quickly. I'm sure you could even use uh, worse rods than this. There is uh, a chance of them getting a little bit further away too. Sometimes they get a little, uh, get away. And all I do is I just put the rod down and I let them go. Uh, just because there's really no point in fighting them. If I get them on the heavy chaser, then maybe I'll fight them just because I know I can actually bring them in. But with these two bottom rods right now, they're just so lightweight compared to the sturgeon. It's just such a pain to, to actually fight them with those rods. There we go. We got another sturgeon in. Got another one about to come in. And this is literally all you got to do. So you can see here, we're going to be in a fight with this one. And this is what I mean, though, is with this bottom rod, it just really cannot handle fighting these sturgeon. So literally all I do is I just set the rod down. And I just, I just leave. I just let it off. 
hop back in my boat. And then I'm going to skip ahead again. And even though I haven't caught that many fish this first night, you're going to have good and bad nights, guys. That's just the way it is. There's some nights you're going to fill your keep net. Some nights are going to be really slow. But for the most part, you're going to be able to make a good amount of XP and a good amount of cash here. At the end of the day, it's still sturgeon farming. It's just a different method. And then you're going to have times like this where you're able to just quickly bring in two sturgeon and get like, what is that? Like almost five six k just out of two fish just like that just nice and easy and you can also recast i find you're just gonna get like three or four fish anyway so you could probably just leave after you get your initial burst of sturgeon you're really trying to speed things up but if you got a little bit of patience you can wait around and see if you get another fish or two we had 97 kilograms of sturgeon and i mean it wasn't a lot of sturgeon honestly it's probably one of the slower days you're gonna get it probably took about 10 minutes IRL and we got 15k so if you're hurting for cash it's very very good I don't want to explain surgeon too much to you guys because almost every single person that's played this game for probably more than a couple hours has heard about the sturgeon farming in some way or another without even knowing about it but yeah I'm just going to keep farming make a little bit of cash I'm going to show you guys a better day hopefully one where I make a little bit more cash, fill up the keep net, at least get to like 200 kilograms. That would be really nice. I've also seen people come down a little bit further, but I've honestly had about similar results regardless of where I am on the shoreline here. So if you want to come down here, you definitely can, but it's really up to you where you want to stand. I don't really notice a difference, but hey, you never know. Maybe there is a little bit of a difference and now I'm pulling out a couple more fish here. So maybe, uh, maybe I was wrong, but I generally fish anywhere along the shoreline and it's pretty good right here so one biggest tip i can give you guys is when you do catch some sturgeon just skip ahead they're not gonna respawn if you just sit there and wait skip ahead that's the quickest way to get them to respawn if you don't get any bites skip ahead the answer is always to skip ahead and don't worry too much about filling up your keep net remember when you skip ahead to the next day there's going to be more fish so don't worry about filling up your keep net too much it's not the end of the world if you don't oh come on get lucky eh, we might get lucky here uh we're not gonna get lucky he's at four meters he was super close but it doesn't look like we we're gonna bring him in all right let's just go ahead and grab this one quick then we will let that one be maybe it uh maybe it'll come in close for me here might as well fight it but actually this is this is good this, now i can show you guys the difference here if we were at the other spot this is what it would be like with these bottom rods it would be just insanely long fights it'd take a while to get in so this is why i come to this spot with this gear when i get the other gear sure then you want to go to the other spot sure it's not a it's not really it's not really a big deal when you have better gear but when you have these bottom snipers specifically the lowest level bottom snipers the fights just take too long and it's just not worth it we got 119 kilograms which again isn't great like we're not getting a ton of fish here but i'm also spending very very little time here so that's why i don't really care so at the end of the day like yeah we're only getting 119 kilograms of sturgeon but i'm i'm going through these days in like five to ten minutes so it really doesn't matter there's our results from day two we got a little bit more money this time around grab this one on crawfish wanted to show you guys that different types of baits do work if you do not have spawn sack i got some duck muscle meat on the other one and then spawn sack on the uh, third rod to the right there so different types of bait will work i use spawn sack because they're really cheap and you get a ton of them so it just makes a lot of sense to just go ahead and use those but if you don't have them for whatever reason try duck muscle meat try crawfish large cut bait works as well Has anyone else been noticing there's been a lot of this issue happening in the last little while where you go to try to quit bait it just says running or it says the operation has failed stuff like that over the last week or two or so let me know what you guys have noticed down below in the comments but i've just been noticing this just so much more lately in terms of trying to quit baits and stuff like that things just seem to be failing a lot more i don't know if they're having server issues if maybe I just need to reinstall the game or whatnot, but I've just been noticing these issues a lot more lately. And then it still said I had crawfish on there when I go back. Just a lot of weird issues going on. Let me know down below if you guys have been having strange stuff like this happening as well. And there we go. We went to California for three days. It took about half an hour or so IRL and we made it 53k and that was on three pretty mediocre days. Not really any fantastic days or anything. And I went ahead and left, so I could have stayed a lot longer. So if you go there and you go to California and you do like some 15-day trips, 
you're going to be making upwards of 150k 200k 300k 400k 500 like depending on how long you stay you're going to make a lot of money anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video showing off the new sturgeon spot hopefully this helps you guys i know it's been around for a while but i wanted to make a video doing this and now that i'm actually here and actually having to farm sturgeon myself i figured i'd make a video about it so i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you guys later